Hi friends, it's Nathan, a third year pharmacy student studying at the University of Waterloo, but currently doing a four-month internship that ends in December. Welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel. So you saw the title, I am gonna be sharing my finances in this video, and I'm gonna share with you how much I spend in a week as a 22-year-old student. Now, I am all for financial transparency. I think through the sharing of this and not being embarrassed or being very open about it is how we learn and become better financial spenders, financial savers. So starting off, it is a Monday and I'm gonna bring with you all into the Sunday. And I'm working from home today, so I actually have my first meal here, which is lunch. And I'm not going out for lunch today. I'm just making something from home, which was a leftover. This is my lunch. I practically spent close to nothing on it. It's just rice, minced beef, and spinach and egg. So I'll put the approximate totals of how much I think each meal costs on the screen. True fan right there. <laughs> it's 5 p.m. I just finished work. I'm so tired and I still have to edit a video. So I'm going to run down to McDonald's and grab a cappuccino. It's Christmas. So I don't usually use mobile order, but I realized that apparently once you put in an order on the McDonald's app, you can't actually get your order. Like they won't start making it until you actually check in and step inside the store. So that's something I learned. Two one two eight. That's my number. So apparently their McCafe machine wasn't working, but they didn't tell me that on the app, only when I actually got into the store. So instead of the $2 cappuccino, I got two $1 iced coffee. So still makes up the total. Sadly, I did want a hot drink because it is cold outside, but this will do. It's time for dinner and my HelloFresh package just came in early this afternoon, so this is what we'll be having. Now, I've actually used HelloFresh numerous times and I'm so excited to say that I'm working with them on this week's video. The meals are healthy, reliable, and affordable, so I can't wait to show you guys. So tonight's menu is crab smart spinach and feta pork patties. Now, this is what it should look like after I'm done. So this is the, uh, the model, the gold standard that we're gonna be aiming for. So let's get cooking. This dinner will be cooked for my parents as well. They're visiting me in the city, so I thought it would be great to invite them over and they can enjoy a meal together in this apartment. So just to keep that in mind, that's why there's gonna be large, large portions. HelloFresh is a weekly service that delivers all the ingredients needed to cook delicious meals right to your home. Their boxes come with recipe cards that give step-by-step -step cooking instructions and fresh, high-quality ingredients that are pre-measured to avoid food waste. As students with busy schedules and New Year's resolutions of being healthier, HelloFresh will save you time and money, skipping the grocery shopping and eating out temptations. Look how pretty this mosaic looks. And now we're gonna add our pork in to start making the patties. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my hands. I was gonna use the spoon, but then I'm just, it's just gonna be easier. So get ready for some munching and ASMR. So actually, you know, getting all up into the pork wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought I was going to hate the texture, but it was actually kind of fun. So now we're going to make our patty. So um, we're just going to grab a little chunk and then just kind of like roll it up into a ball. And then just flatten our first patty. The patties are all formed and we're going to transfer them and fry them on the pan there. Fry, baby, fry. So the parents have now joined us and they're just waiting as I finish up the last part of this recipe. Now we're going to make the salad, which is the final step. Their menus cater to all dietary preferences, such as quick and easy, veggie, smart meals, pescatarian, high protein, and more. Each recipe makes either two or four servings at an affordable average of $10 per serving. They have a changing menu of over 35 recipes featuring different cuisines and techniques, and you can select between three to five meals per box. I'm gonna try tossing this salad without getting it everywhere. All mixed and only just one splashage. Recipe photo, mine. Recipe photo, mine. Time to eat. So I know how good HelloFresh is, my parents don't know. They've never had it before, so 
We're gonna do a taste test on them. It's First so time trying HelloFresh. Mm. So good. How is it? Very delicious. Mm -hmm. mm, so crunchy. And I give a big thumb to Nathan. Yay, and thank you HelloFresh. So obviously I have to taste my own cooking as well. I can't just take my parents' word for it because you know parents, they'll obviously say your cooking is always good, but let's take a bite of the pork. Mmm. The pork has so much flavor. Wow. And then let's try the salad. Mmm. The salad balances out very well. Okay, and also, you guys saw, it was so easy to cook. I followed the directions. 30 minute cooking time. Click the link in my description box to get up to 20 free meals and free shipping on your first HelloFresh box. Good morning, so I'm headed to work right now and I need to take the subway to get there and it is, I believe, 3 50 per ride. So you'll see me tap on with a transit card. I am walking very fast because my office gives out free breakfast until 9.30. It's currently 9.24, so let's go. I'm in my office now, but I wanted to share how I drink my coffee. So my work doesn't provide any straws for us to use, and I don't like getting my teeth stained with the coffee. So I decided to buy my own paper straws, bring them, keep them in my bag, and then I'll just pop them in and sip my coffee. This entire meal is free, and it's honestly such a work perk. I got an egg sandwich with bacon, hash brown, and my iced coffee. This is the lunch menu. I think I'm gonna get the salmon and that'll cost $3.54. I'm off work now and I'm actually about to go for a consultation with a dental surgeon because I may be getting my wisdom teeth removed. There's one that is coming out, but all of them, all four, are actually not aligned, so they're not coming out appropriately. So We'll see if we need to get them extract. I will tell you the price of this consultation afterwards. Let's see what happens. My doubts about is real life. Just finished with the consultation and my heart is beating so fast just because, you know, whenever you talk about surgery, there's complications and stuff, but um, the consultation was $100. Lobster, lamb stew, fried oysters. I love Chinese food so much. Like, mm, so good. I got and the final dish is the chow mein. So the total dinner came to two hundred seventy-five dollars, but divided by six people, that ends up being forty-five per person which to be honest is really, really worth it for all that we ate. You saw lobster, you saw that huge pot of lamb, the chicken, the oysters, the stir fry noodles that had shrimp and scallop. These are expensive ingredients and for 45 bucks a person, it really doesn't get better than that. I know for a fact that if I was to go to a Western restaurant, I would be paying double, if not maybe triple the price of what you pay at a Chinese restaurant. Sounds uh, like a pretty good financial culinary investment to me. I will put the total spend of Tuesday and I'm going to bed now, so I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Wednesday. I got a cappuccino today. I was really feeling something warm because it's super cold and moody outside. It's raining. It's really like chucking it down. But um, again, this is free because it's from the office and I didn't pack lunch today, but we'll be purchasing. I don't know what's on the menu yet. I find out when I go into the cafeteria. The standard four dollars for all hot meals. So whatever it is, I'll be paying four bucks. So I'm just gonna get on with my day and I'll catch you at lunch. For lunch, we got chicken, corn, mashed potatoes, and kale salad. Hi, friend. 
We are going for sushi! We were originally debating between KBBQ or sushi, but we, we decided to go with sushi. Yeah. And this place gives the largest roll, so I'm so excited. And it's really worth it too, so I'll show you Maybe guys Maybe it's a after. passenger princess all the time. Always. Well, you're the one that really wanted dinner, so <laughs> oh, just saying. So with every order of roll, we get miso soup and salad. These are the two special rolls we got. On the left side, we have monster roll, which has salmon and cream cheese. And then the one on the right is our super fancy one. There is tuna, tempura, avocado, and then spicy mayo and gold flakes on the top. You see there? There's the gold flake. I wish I could show you how large this is. I'm gonna actually show it to you against my face. So good. I love sushi. I am so full. So the bill came and it was total $45 split between two people. So that's $22 per person. That is actually such a good price. And I'm like stuffed. Like I'm full. And you saw how big those rolls are. You saw how much seafood and how much fish they ate. So really good. Really happy with this meal. Oh, it is so, so cold on the heated seat. Is it on? It is on. Is it, I don't feel it. It's literally, oh, wait. Oh. Literally, okay. it's the highest it could go. Okay, okay, okay. Good morning. I'm heading into the office today, but tonight I'm actually going to see a concert. I'm seeing Grey's and Chance live and I'm so, so excited. But I just know it's going to be such a long day. And of course, you guys know I'm no stranger to long work days, but I'm able to stay productive and I'm able to go for so long. And a constant question I get asked is how I do it. And yes, coffee definitely does help until you hit that caffeine crash. And so a month ago, I started taking these shots from Magic Mind. And this is what they look like. And they have been incredible. And I'm going to put you on them as well. Let me break down the science of these little two ounce magical shots. These shots contain matcha, which has L-theanine, also known as nature's time release caffeine, so you avoid that midday crash. It also has adaptogens such as ashwagandha and turmeric, which decreases stress, which I think as students we all need a little more of, and nootropics such as lion's mane mushroom, which improves blood flow and cognition. Lastly, there's vitamin C, D, and echinacea to help boost your immune system. And after being sick for a month after Halloween and going back to school in January, I need to get my immune system back up. And the pharmacist in me did my research. All the ingredients in here has medical evidence to back up its claims. And from a personal experience, not only does it taste good, it also has made me feel amazing and really allowed me to stay in a deeper flow of work for much longer. Let's give this a shake and we'll cheers and drink together. Wow, it's good. And just really wakes you up. So the shots will be linked in my description box and you can use code NathanWu20 for 20% off. We have to get going now or else I'm gonna be late. Just got to work and got my iced coffee, of course, by paper straw. Mm, that is good. And then, you know, just a classic breakfast. We have an egg sandwich here. And then hash browns and breakfast sausage. Again, all for free. It is lunchtime and I'm buying again. I know it seems like I'm buying a lot and I really only buy my lunches when I'm really busy, which I am this week. But if we take a look at the math, Last time I ate salmon, yesterday I ate chicken. These are proper meals. If I was to make it at home, it would cost me close to $4 per meal, plus the time that it would take to actually make it versus just paying $4 here to get my food hot and fresh. So if you take a look at those factors in, $4 ends up being really affordable and really you can't beat it. If I was to go to McDonald's, McDonald's, which is not even healthy, it would cost me probably around like $8 for a meal versus four here. So in that sense, time is money and I'm healthy as well. So let's go see what's on the menu. We got green beans, pork, and potatoes. I feel something familiar. I celebrate you. God did his thing with you. 
I'm back in my apartment. Oh, I missed it. But my coworker actually gave me a ride back and it was so nice because one, we live in similar area, so carpooling made sense. Two, I got to save time. And three, I didn't have to pay a transit fare, which is always good. I get to save three bucks. So now I'm gonna get dressed for dinner. Me and my roommate Jasper are going for Korean food. I am so, so excited. This restaurant, I tried going a month ago on a weekend, but unfortunately the line was too long. It was 45 minute wait, but today should be good because it's a weekday. Uh, should be less people, but it's apparently so, so good. It is a family owned restaurant. So it's very local, very authentic Korean food. And I just can't wait. So I was really debating on whether to take the subway to the restaurant or should I just walk it? I think I'm just gonna walk it. It's not that cold. Um, and I'm meeting my roommate halfway because that's where he is right now. So 15 minutes, take a breather, another 15 minutes, and we'll be there. So I'm saving three bucks now, and then I'll have to spend the three bucks later when I get back home from the concert. But I'm not going to be walking half an hour when it's dark and late. So I think when it comes to like safety, I will always prioritize that. We are here. It's so cool in the wall, guys. It's very local, very intimate, and I'm so excited. I hope you guys can hear me in the video. I'm literally shouting in the restaurant. But we have seafood pancake here. And with Korean food, you always get side dishes and these are free. So we have the caramelized potatoes. I believe these are like soya bean vegetable, kimchi, spicy radish, bean sprouts, and cucumber. Um, let's give this seafood. <laughs> that was a close call. Okay, let's give it a try. It's very bad. Really crispy. Um, mm. We're gonna pack all of it because there's no point of wasting it, and this can be my lunch for tomorrow. Just got into the venue and one thing I always suggest is to bring a plastic water bottle, just an empty one, like a disposable preferably so that you can toss it out when done. But I will just go to the bar and ask for tap water so that I have something to sip on while the concert is going. But I am so excited. I also checked the price of the ticket. Um, it is $27 and the great thing about how I like to go to indie concerts is that they're all very small. So you have a smaller venue, smaller artists, so tickets never go above $50, which I really prefer. And it's nice that they're general admission as well because you get to be really close to the artist and, and have that intimate atmosphere. So yeah, I'm super excited. And Grey's and Chance, his music is like very, how to describe it? It's like mellow, very ballad and like lovey. So I love that. Like, a few songs that have gotten me through it was so much like White Roses um, is one of my favorite songs of his all time. But yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy the show. And of course, you'll see some clips. I also want to state that yes, I am at this concert alone by myself. And it's one of those things that I started doing in the past year because one, it's main character energy. Two, I didn't want to keep waiting around for friends to see if they would come with me. Not everyone likes the same music as me and I felt like a lot of the times I would be missing out on opportunities to go see artists when I really want to see them. So I just started going alone and I always end up meeting similar minded people at the concert too. So it's always nice to meet new people and just enjoy your own company. So I'm gonna head back up to the stage and you'll see some clips and I can't wait. Shoulder to shoulder, yeah babe, I'm on for the ride. We can run far away, stay in the heat of July. Oh, tonight, push your troubles aside. Be alright. 
out of the venue and it was such a good concert i really hope you enjoyed the clips he is such an amazing vocalist the way he switches just from his like low alto voice to that falsetto is absolutely gorgeous and just the way he like moves to and like vibes to his own songs it's just a really really nice like, see he genuinely loves the music that he creates and my favorite one was the good as gold one on the piano there also is another song that he doesn't have on his set list it's called white roses and that is one of those songs that like i just cry and it's in my sad playlist and it's a, just such a beautiful song but unfortunately he did not play that but really good and i love going to concerts it's such a way to escape and for 27 bucks and really it's a full night of live music entertainment so that brings it to the end of Thursday and of course I will total all the spend for today. It's the end of the year Everywhere on TV Couples and Christmas trees Gift wrapping and cheer Just the worst time to be with someone special Good morning. Last night I slept pretty late, so it's been a bit of a slow morning. I am working from home today, so it's great. I'm able to have that luxury of time. I'm gonna start by making some breakfast. I'm really craving something sweet, so I think I'm gonna do Greek yogurt and fruit, and that ends up being pretty affordable, so let's get some food in my stomach. Breakfast is made, it looks absolutely gorgeous, and I'm gonna eat it while I do some work. I know Greek yogurt is a little bit more pricey than regular yogurt, and I believe, oh, I think Oikos goes for maybe like around like $2 a cup, so I'll say the breakfast is $2. I do buy it in bulk at Costco, so it ends up being cheaper, but with the Vector cereal and the fruit ends up being around $2. So I love Greek yogurt, I think it fills you up more. It's also healthier, so you get a little bit more bang for your buck. So yeah, I'm gonna do some work and eat, and I'll see you in a bit. Do my leftovers for the pork bone soup, and look at it. So basically because the pork bones have so much like gelatin, that it just ends up coagulating, because the fridge is cold. <laughs> Let me just do a little hit. <laughs> okay, this is immature. Made some rice, and then I'm gonna put the rice in the pork bone soup, and I have the seafood pancake reheating in the oven. Look at this, I paid $30 for dinner last night. I have lunch, a really great lunch, a matter of fact, as well as dinner tonight, because I still have pork. I also want to mention that I am freezing, so I know that this broth is going to be so nice. Mmm, so, so good. And the one good thing about this Korean restaurant that we went to is that the pork bone soup is not too spicy, which is great because usually like my nose is running, my eyes are tearing when I eat Korean food, but this time it's good. And then we have the seafood pancake. Mm. Korean last night, Korean lunch, Korean dinner. 30 bucks guys, that's so good. Guys, I actually just booked a reservation at Yasu Toronto one of the most expensive omakase restaurants in the city. I want to clarify that this meal will not be included in the video or its calculations because it's taking place in late December. I still wanted to include it because it is related to financials. And as you can see from the video, I do spend a significant amount on food. So I thought it'd be fitting to share. But essentially, 
this meal will be the most expensive meal I've ever spent money on. And I decided to kind of splurge because it is a celebratory dinner. It's to celebrate everything that I achieved in 2022. My academic goals, my internship work goals, my social media goals. And at this point, I just want to thank all of you because I would not have been able to do it all if it wasn't without your unending support, the comments, the views. Every time you guys message me on Instagram, I, I see it all and I comment and it just... It drives me and it motivates me. So thank you so much. It's also to celebrate a lot of internal growth and development that I've had. There were some pretty rocky points this year and I came out of that stronger. I learned from them and I can fully say that I have not been more confident in myself, putting myself first and really just crafting healthy relationships instead of toxic ones. So that I think deserves... <laughs> definitely deserves some reward. Finally, it is just to provide a last hurrah with me and Jasper. He's such an incredible roommate and friend, and then I just want to kind of commemorate that. Um, we also both love sushi so, so much. So that's also a factor. But yeah, I just wanted to share that because it's exciting when you're able to spend something that you've worked so hard for. So it's a lot to me. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that. But now uh, that work is done, I'm going to eat my $30 Korean fried pork. Now this dinner looks proper. So it's just the rice that I made in the morning. We have the pork from the Korean restaurant. And then I just fried up some vegetables, but I made them a little too spicy. So it might be a little rough. And because the protein is leftovers and the rice and vegetables are pretty negligible, I would consider this maybe like a dollar max. Maybe not even, but yeah. I'm also starting to watch Wednesday and I'm so excited. Everyone says the show is incredible. So let's see. This scene is iconic. Damn, that's that's power. <laughs> Swim. Guys, I love Wednesday so far. I love how occult it is, the dark academia. Oh, love it. Also, this cello solo. It's so good. I literally finished the entire episode, the whole hour episode in one go. And I never watch full episodes. I always split them in half. But wow, this is going to be a good series. I already know. Oh, it's so good. So before I go out, I want to get a little bit of editing done because I've been procrastinating and a video needs to go up. So I'm going to get with editing and I actually got a new monitor, which is absolutely unreal. It's huge. It's from LG and it's been a game changer in editing. So let me get to work and you'll see it in action. Here is my new LG Dual Up monitor. It's a 28 inch 16 by 18 monitor that allows me to stack up my displays vertically and free up my desk space. I love how unique and large the screen is. It's great for students because you can have multiple files open and work seamlessly between lecture slides, textbook readings, and applications. If you're interested, it'll be linked in my description box. So I'm heading out tonight, so I'm gonna go pick up some alcohol. So we did not make it to the club last night, but it's fine because we're now going for brunch. And this restaurant is a Mediterranean brunch place. Apparently it's really good. I've never been, so excited for that. Got a lamb shank eggs benny, some fruit, and a croque madame. First bite we're gonna give it a try. Mm. It's really good. It's like creamy, but there's a little bit of a tang to it. Really good. This is so, so cold. Also, really windy. Um, yeah, it's like really cold. And the wind is always so rough. 
So this is an automated robot coffee machine and I've seen this all the time. I passed by but I never actually got it so I thought I would get it today. Flat white. I've just been sitting on the couch, watching TikTok, drinking my coffee for the past 30 minutes, feeling very, very lazy, but I do have work to do. I need to do some errands and laundry and what else do I need to do? Oh, clean the place, because it's looking like it needs a clean. So yeah, let's be productive. I've been eating out way too much, so tonight we're gonna stay in and cook dinner together. I'm craving something hot and warm, so we're gonna make stew. I bought this Irish beef stew mix from the farmer's market last weekend, and this cost me $10, which I know is pricey, but it was at a farmer's market and I was supporting local, so I'm okay with that. But it's a really cool thing, like I've never actually seen stew mixes like this. You just put it all in one pot and you're good to go. Like, as you can see, there's the seasoning at the bottom here, rice, but I'll add more rice on my own, some peas, and uh, some other stuff for the stew, but pretty cool concept. I also am going to add more because this will not be enough, so I'm going to add some cabbage in there, carrots, onion, and I have some beef in here. So, let's get cooking. Now we just have to let this boil and simmer, but I wish you guys could smell it. Absolutely incredible. I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything since brunch, and we're just going to dig in, just mix it up first. The steam keeps on fogging my glasses, but let's give this a taste. I hope there's enough flavor just because I didn't simmer it for like the full 90 minutes as recommended. Probably only just an hour, so we'll see. Ooh, it's good. But it's super, super hot. I think mean, my tongue got burned. Mmm, there's enough flavor. Absolutely enough flavor. Wow. Okay, right. I'm gonna watch Wednesday while I enjoy this. Nothing a weed whacker can fix. You can most certainly try. Are we still talking about flowers? Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you, lady. Very big smoker, and I handle it like a pro. Would you like to see it? Um, what are these double meanings? Look how much stew I made. I didn't realize the pot would make so much or even like the ingredients that would make so much, but this will be meal prepped and that's like four or five meals, all for just 10 bucks of seasoning and the beef and all that stuff. So pretty good on the money aspect. Guys, it's the famous scene on TikTok. It's crazy how it's with this song, not with Bloody Mary by Lady Gaga, but yeah. We have made it to Sunday and also this lighting. So today is just a chill day at home. I'm gonna get some work done. I do need to return something at a store later on, but I don't expect me to be spending much today. I don't have lunch plans or dinner plans. So I'm gonna do a lot of cooking at home, avocado toast today. And then for dinner, we'll probably have the leftovers we had yesterday, the meal prepped stew. But yeah, let's get on with the day. Sunday mornings hiding under covers at and there we have our apple toast now if I was to eat this order the exact same thing at the brunch place I went yesterday it would probably cost me 20 bucks but to make this it only cost me maybe like a dollar so if you can make it at home make it at home so I was planning on going to McDonald's to grab a cappuccino but then I was like mmm Maybe not. It's super cold outside and I don't really want to leave the comfort of my home. 
as well. If I can save two bucks, I'll do it. So I'm just gonna go make a matcha now. I'm staying in with you. Play your favorite movie. Laying right beside me. I don't mind what... Just heated up the stew from the other day, and this will be my final meal of the week. Jasper got boba. Second, second day in a row. Second, second day in a row. Um, and how much was this? Oh, oh no, it was the monthly combo. So it was like four and a half, let's say five dollars. Okay, so there's five dollars there. See, always saving money. Originally it would have been six eighty, <laughs> then we got it for four fifty because it's the tea of the month. And this is the matcha brown sugar. So let's give it a shake. Let's go. It's not shaking. <laughs> it's because it. Oh, it took. We took too long. <laughs> Yeah. If it explodes, <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Got the game night going. These are my flowers. She's showing me her island. This is my outdoor patio. Low key Animal Crossing seems kind of boring. <laughs> That's tough. I have coconut trees. I have all the fruit trees, Nathan. She's panicking. Okay, panicking. you have all the trees. All the trees. <laughs> Okay, okay, this is what I want to see actually. I am out of a fishing rod. I need oh. to be fulfilled with a fishing rod. <laughs> yeah, oh, I will not be purchasing Animal Crossing. Jasper, please. Don't do this. Don't, don't do, do it. it. Don't do it, Jasper. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Are you good? Yeah. Are you actually good? Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? Are you good at the game? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hey, no, hey, no. I wasn't making it. Wait, how do you play this game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the? <gasps> yeah, where, 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 where? <laughs> You saw nothing. <laughs> Lemmy, that's me. I got third. We'll ignore the other people though. <laughs> <laughs> what they don't know is that I am the king of Mario Party. <laughs> what he doesn't know is we can hear that. <laughs> I'm literally so good at this. Really? They don't know what they're expecting. I definitely saw the competitive side of some people. We got to see Nathan too. <laughs> camera. We got to see a new Nathan Woo. Congratulations, you made it to the end. So let's find out what my total spend for the week is. Drum roll, please. $407. I don't know how I feel about this. Truthfully, I didn't have any expectations going into this. I just wanted to spend as I normally did and just see what the outcome was, but let's talk about it. Before we break things down, a few things to keep in mind. I do live in Toronto, which is the most expensive city to live in in the country and one of the most unaffordable cities in the world. I'm also doing an internship right now, meaning my lifestyle is a bit different than if I was a full-time student only. I also recognize my privileges of having income from both work and social media. Being able to make money from something that I absolutely love is such a blessing and I want to thank all of you for giving me the opportunity to do so and inspire so many people in the process. And lastly, I do pay for everything myself, including my tuition, and I've been doing that since the age of 18. Let's talk about my categories. So as you can see, nearly half of my spending is on food and beverage alone. This I'm not surprised about. I've always been a foodie, as you guys know, I love cooking and I love eating out. So being in a city like Toronto just makes sense for me to try as many restaurants as possible or to really experiment with my cooking techniques. So I'm not surprised about that at all. Entertainment came in at 14%, which is normal right now, but definitely not normal if I was in a school term. I go out maybe once a month on a night out back in Waterloo versus in Toronto. There's much more things to do. There's a better nightlife. So just by the virtue of nature like that and having more time and freedom, I end up going out more now than I do when I'm in school. 
I thought it would be higher, but then again, I remember that I don't like to spend money on drinks because I think they're really overpriced. So usually I'll buy drinks and make them at home and then I'll go out. Medical cost at a quarter is definitely, definitely an anomaly. I don't have regular consultations, nor do I take regular medications apart from my supplements. So this was just a one-off. Transportation definitely came in a lot lower. I chose to walk more this week instead of taking the subway, but I know the $4 can really add up over time, especially when you take the subway to go to a destination and it takes maybe like more than two hours, your transfer expires and you have to pay the fee again to head home. So it just really adds up. So if I can at least save money on the way there and then take the subway back, then I'm only paying a one-time fee. With my bills, uh, we actually negotiated with our provider, so we have a really good plan. So at 8%, I'm really happy with that. There's one category that didn't make it onto this week, and that is shopping. I rarely shop for clothes or electronics, and when I do, it's always on sale. So Black Friday, Boxing Day, I did pick up some stuff for Boxing Day, but that's pretty much it. I always try to look at a clearance aisle or just wait for the sale. Just that's how I was raised. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned more about financial literacy and how to better budget as a student. As you can see, I do like to enjoy myself, but I'm always keeping in mind the price, seeing if it's a good deal, is it worth it, can I save any money on this, and I think that's the best balance to have. Not limiting your experiences, but at the same time, trying to get the best bang for your buck. If you want this video done while I'm a full-time student, let me know in the comments because I'm heading back to school this month and I think it'll be a really unique perspective to see how the spending changes. I'm also gonna be doing an apartment tour later on in the month so you can see how much housing costs. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy these financial adulting videos. I can definitely make more of them because it is something that I am passionate about and I want to educate you guys however I can. And if you want to see more study vlogs, study advice, lifestyle videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. If you want to see more of my day-to-day -day life as a student, as well as just day-to-day -day spending, of course, uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Nathan.Wu. I also post a bunch of funny, relatable reels on there. And you can follow me on TikTok as well at It's Nathan Wu. But that's it for me, and I'll see you friends in the next video. Bye.